Tuned into the Beyond the Burwell Show on the Beach House Radio, your top 40 hot and RB station, the new beat of Atlanta. Y'all, we had an interesting weekend here, and again, it is raining outside. Boy, it seems like it's April right now. We're getting all the rain now that we probably should have got back in April, and it's June. I don't know about you guys, but we are gearing up for Fourth of July around here. We got all kinds of fireworks, tents, and People selling fireworks and buy one, get one free. I don't know how it is where you are, but it's tents everywhere. So we're looking forward. We're going to be at Stone Mountain Park this Friday. This Friday, we're going to be at Stone Mountain Park with our family and doing all kinds of stuff. Today, we are going to talk about phobias in America. Man, I, I just was thinking about this, and I was like, man, people are scared of some stuff. And I got some things that, you know, I'm like, okay, you know. I'm cool, but I just want to talk about the 10, well, actually the top 10 phobias. There are all kinds of phobias in America, but the top 10, we'll talk about that. Hot topics, things that's going on in the news. We got fools hanging on to back windows while driving down the highway in North Carolina. We got the name from hell. We got all kinds of crazy stuff that's happened. Also, a few passings over the weekend of, of, of artists, so we'll talk about that too. And we'll wind it up with business startup mistakes to avoid. We're going to give you the top business startups to avoid. And that is so important for you guys to know what that is, especially those that are entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs. Don't take offense to the time because you want to be an entrepreneur, so you want to be the call in number here is 404 826 Again, 404 826 That is the call in number. If you want to see everything that's happening as it happens, just go to the BJOSRadio.com, click on Watch Live. The QA box is open. Feel free to put your comments and questions there. Give us about 20 seconds to see it, and then we will answer your question entertainment as long as nothing crazy. Just saying. For all of you people that know that it's somebody who wants to hear the show, hasn't heard it before, or they don't have internet access, Tell them they can call the listen line, 401-347-0418. That is the listen line, 24 hours a day. It doesn't matter. You can dial that number and listen live to the things that's happening here at the station. We're also on TuneIn. Down in the tune, download the free TuneIn app, streamer, radio tuner, all kinds of stuff. So keep it like right here on the Bianca Burrow Show. We're going to do a little reggae, and then we'll be back. Keep it like right
Georgia open Tuesday through Saturday. They offer sewing, custom wigs, cuts, colors, and more. Attention licensed and professional stylists and barbers only. Styles of Essence has groups for men. Contact Ms. Tamika at 678-656-4700. You are tuned into the Bianca Burrow Show on the Beach House Radio, your top 25 and army station, Newbie of Atlanta. Bit of a rainy day outside, but hopefully it will clear up, especially by Friday. That is 4th of July, and I don't think anybody wants to be grilling outside when it's rainy or wet, muddy, especially when you plan on going to the park. That's something that we're going to do. I've asked a question online, and some of you guys are already weighing in. Because I'm going to be talking about phobias in America. What's yours? Some of you guys are weighing in already. Some pretty interesting stuff. The call in number is 404 826 Again, 404 826 is the call in number. So if you're not by your laptop, about to walk away, something like that, the listen line 401 401-347-0418. 401-347-0418. Don't be talking about some. That's long distance. Nobody paid long distance no more. So I said that the other day. I can't call that number. That long distance. I was like, what? We all have cell phones. There's no long distance plans. That kind of stuff is over. So, crazy. Now, if you guys have been paying attention, there, there have been a number of stories that have hit national headlines. One of them that took place right here in the Atlanta area dealing with the gentleman that left his son uh, 22 months, he was almost two years old, son in a high car and he died. And the funeral just took place not long ago, a few days ago, and he of course was unable or they did not permit him to attend the funeral. And he was an employee of Home Depot. Now, here in Atlanta, they've gone over all of the routes and just trying to understand how could this individual have forgotten that his son was in the back seat. And my husband, he raised a um, great point, and um, I had to agree with him. What he said was, why didn't the wife call him? I said, why would his wife call him? To make sure that he dropped him off. If, he, if, if that's something that he doesn't do on a regular basis, then why wouldn't she have called just to make sure that he made it to the destination, how was the drop off? Did he call? I mean, did he cry? Was there any problems? I said, you know what? He said, well, I'm just saying, if there's something that she normally does, and that would be on her mind, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess you're right. So, that's another interesting point that was raised. Another interesting point. So, also, the latest in that situation is that the police, and I believe this is in Cobb County, up by Marietta, this is uh, the northern part of the Atlanta area. Police went to the home and they pulled out evidence and they also said that they saw on his computer that he had been searching how long it would take for a child to die in a hot car. Crazy. So, come to find out, as of late, the mother was searching it too, and they both have the same explanation. They both were saying that they were worried that something like this would happen. And so they, they were searching it. Well, all of this remains to be seen. This is a story that is unfolding, of course. People have their doubts initially, and I thought this was very interesting. 
how people were jumping to the defense of the father without knowing any of the information. And what by that, what I mean is kind of wait and see. I mean, people were taking up collections, and this is reminiscent of, of some Florida stuff, but they were taking up collections, saying drop the charges, it was a mistake, you didn't need to do it. You know, and just saying that, you know, some folks have uh, admitted that they themselves have forgotten their children in the car once or twice or something like that when they were babies, and then others are arguing. The child was 22 months old, almost two, talking, interacting, how in the world? So later on, we find out that not only did the father leave him in there, but he happened to come out during his lunch break, go in the vehicle on the driver's side, get something, and then go back in the work. So that's just hard to understand that you couldn't or you didn't see or didn't know or you forgot type situation. Uh, then he gets in his car after work, drives down to uh, a store. I don't have to name it. Y'all y'all been seeing it. It was in store. And he gets out and he's screaming and pulls his son out and trying to resuscitate him, knowing full well, it's no possible way that he could have survived that long for seven hours seeing in, in the car, seeing as though he and his wife have done a search online as to how long does it take for a child to have to die in a hot car. So to me, I don't care what I say, does that? That was an act. That's just my opinion, and I'm, I'm entitled to it, and I can say it as much as I want to. I think he did it on purpose. I think he knew full will that that child was in the car. The, the route was not that far. I don't see how you can forget, especially if the son, I, I doubt that, that the child was that dog on the We're not talking about a newborn. We're not talking about a newborn. Um, nobody, I guess, heard the child cry or nothing like that. It's just very interesting stuff. So we'll still wait to see what is happening with this situation as it unfolds. And um, I'm just uh, interested to see how this thing is going to play out. They did charge him. So some people were upset saying, no, it was a mistake. He didn't do it on purpose. But I'm just saying you might want to uh, not jump to any conclusions either way, especially those that are asking to drop the charges until you know exactly what is going on. There's another situation that's, that um, – that's taking place. I'm gonna wait on that one. Yeah, you know, with the it, it happened in Detroit with a, a I think it was 13, 14 year old boy that was uh, missing. But we'll find we'll, we'll we'll talk about that. But first, before that, I found it real crazy to see that there is a fool in North Carolina that decided that he was gonna just ride on the back of a vehicle down the highway. This is absolutely crazy. This and more uh, when we come back after this break. I just had to, uh, I just had to talk about that. Also, BET uh, pre-show shooting, some crap going on with that. You guys, it's just people are losing their minds right now. Now I do have to say this: this did not have to do with BET awards. It was pre-show shooting. So we'll talk about that and more when we come back right here on the Bianca Burgo Show. So keep it locked right here. Tank. Chris Brown, shots fired. Keep it up.
To the Bianca Berwood. This dude, <laughs> he waited till, till we come back from break to clear his throat. Really? <laughs> What's going on? I had to get you something to remember me back. We are here. <laughs> oh my gosh, so long as he's been beat, I promise y'all. He's been cool the whole time he's been in here. I've been talking since I've been in here. As soon as you've been talking, I ain't been talking. Don't be saying you ain't been, don't be saying I, I ain't saying that. <laughs> Crazy. So again, Coming up, I'm going to be reading off some of the things uh, when I go through the uh, top phobias in America. Some of you guys have been giving me some, giving me some stuff. I thought I had some kind of weird type thing, but I'm gonna ask you yours too. Hmm. Everybody, everybody got something. I don't have nothing. Lying. Everybody I has I something. I did, but I, I got over it. You do know this show is reported, right? Yeah, I did, but I got over it. I'm being serious. Uh -huh. I used to have a big fear of uh, rats and mice, but as I grew older, we had a. Uh, but it ain't no secret that I grew up humble. So me and my family in this. Who didn't grow up poor? I don't know. Everybody don't care. Yeah, didn't you? Name the show. Name my concern. Did you hear the show before? Name my concern. Ain't no secret. Name my concern. Everybody. My my life. Oh, anyway, Lord. it was in the studio apartment, and uh, and you know it was this it was rats and. It was my sinus in the apartment and everything. So, in order to, so I was I was terrified of them. I would run out the apartment and stuff like that when I was younger. So um, one day I one day I kind of couldn't didn't have nowhere to go and everything like that when I was younger and uh, I ended up having to kill the the, the mice that was in there. Mm. So I really didn't have a choice. So throughout my sweating and fear and, and shaking and trembling, I had to do what I had to do. I had to get over. It. I really didn't have a choice because I had nowhere else to run. But we're going we to give some people, we'll give people what folks have said and what they've chimed in. How was your weekend? It was all good. Uh -huh. it was all, yeah, it was all good. had an interesting uh, IG weekend, I can I say that. Interesting IG weekend? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, well. What happened on IG? Okay, so. Instagram. You know, Instagram. In, in Chicago, it's the Gay Pride weekend, right? You know, it, I think, yeah, I read about that. And, uh, you know, I was some shoes or something. Wasn't it? Uh -huh. I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about that, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> but, um, I was, my, my timelines were getting flooded with a whole bunch of gay pride pics. You know, just, uh, you know, outrageous pics about people at the gay pride weekend with their outrageous outfits. Outfits and stuff. Yeah, and over the top type things. Yeah, yeah, and also the gay pride logos and stuff like that. Okay. I'm talking about, uh, I'm talking about people from 13 to 30 is writing stuff how they're gay and they're proud, and, mm -hmm. or how they they just love love or whatever the hell. Whatever. Okay. Anywho, so I said, okay, fine. I'm kind of tired of uh, seeing all this. I'm gonna put some straight pride uh, pictures up. So I did. I didn't put anything derogatory or anything. I've yeah. seen some people do that. I saw somebody do that on Raven Simone's. She had an outfit on. Mm -hmm. Looked like she was kind of, kind of. Uh, it looked tight. 
Like, it did. Sorry. It oh, did. It, did. It, it looked like a really, really, it was a cute outfit. I'm not saying it wasn't cute. But it was just But weird. it just looked like it was like, <laughs> I can't breathe. Of course. Take the picture type right now. <laughs> type thing. Of course, sick type of gurgle type thing. <laughs> Yeah. And somebody put something on there. They put a, it was a picture of a little, I don't know if it was a baby girl or baby boy, very pretty baby. And they said, you know, I don't have any problem with what you do, but I can't make this with another man. And, um, <laughs> I mean, it was. It was on there, and people weighed in. It was like a hundred and something comments after uh, that picture. Some were saying, you know, I appreciate your, I appreciate you not being disrespectful, and I appreciate you voicing that. Matter of fact, that was on Facebook. Mm. I saw that on Facebook. Uh, some of you guys may have seen it too. And then others was like, you such and such, and they were going off, and he, he was like, dang, all I did was just say, you know, it don't matter what you do, but I can't make this. And then this one guy said, well, you might not be able to make it with another man, but as a man, I'm perfectly capable of making a child if I want to. I don't know. I, I was just I was just there for the comments. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was it, it was actually uh, quite interesting because um. So what, first, what what kind of response did you did you get from? Ooh, were, I, were you you weren't disrespectful? Either. No, I wasn't disrespectful yet until okay. somebody came at me wrong. Okay, so now you tell know. me how how did you how did you come off? What did what did what did you say? The very the very first statement I put up there, uh, the very first statement I put up there, uh, I had a of course I had a picture of um. Uh, what was it? The gay, the the, the uh, straight symbol. Um, I didn't know yeah. it was the straight symbol. Yeah, the straight pride symbol. Is it? Can you can you see that? Oh, I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's about the the man said the woman symbol and the oops, uh oh, watch that. Now. <laughs> the woman symbol and the man signals kind of enclaps together and within the circles. So. Oh, okay. I, I, I know, that's my first time seeing it. Okay. No, so the, the comment that I put on there was, okay, since people are blowing up my IG and Facebook timeline with this gay pride, S-H-I-T, oh. <laughs> even the young, confused ones that claim to be hetero is blowing it up, is blowing it up too. Y'all ain't even proud to be black, but, <laughs> but, you got, but you're going to support someone else's pride. Shaking my head. I I'm going know, to, I'm going to put some pride. I'm that's, going, rough, that's rough from the balance. Yeah, yeah, I did. I'm said I'm going to put some pride stuff up myself and blow y'all timeline up. So I figured I'd be obnoxious and throw it in your face every chance I get too. Enjoy punks, lol. What? I can't. You can't. Who says I can't? Antonio. Who says I can't? So Antonio, that was not nice. I won't put him on his to be nice. But you can't call people punks. I ca I call them punks. Oh, Lord. And I wasn't really talking about gay people. I was talking about people in general. But you know how, but, but in retrospect, you know how that could be. I didn't get it. You want anything like that? I thought about it, but I didn't care. <laughs> oh, God. So, what kind of response did you get, Antonio? Okay, so, and believe it or not, the response that I got wasn't even off that. I didn't get no negative responses off that. What did you get a response off of? Have you ever heard the, the saying that uh, uh, the, gay, the gay people will say, I'm gay. Wait, they say uh, gay pride. Yeah, they say gay pride. Uh, I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. Oh no, I haven't. You never heard that? No. Okay, well they they it's a, it's a lot in Chicago. In Chicago up north, they they have the slogan up there and, and I'm here. I'm queer. I'm here. I'm queer. Get used to it. Okay. So I put so I found one that says straight pride. I'm here. I'm not queer. Get used to it. That's it. Okay. That's all I put up. Did you post that up too? Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so the comment, the first comment I got was from this uh, this lady saying, uh, "Are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, uh, what else did she say? She said, "Why is this necessary? No one is going to hate you for being straight. Please sit down." <laughs> of course, I said, uh, "I said, aw." This makes you mad. I'm sorry for bothering you with messages I choose to put on my page. <sighs> Hope you have a nice day. That's what I put. Don't have nobody come up to the station. Yeah, nobody gonna do Don't have nobody come up to the station. People talk. That's it. They ain't trying to come against me. Don't be happy. Look, 
So her yeah, girlfriend go came out, home. Go outside and it's a whole I deal with crowd that. Out I'm telling you, no, say now her girlfriend came up there, came came on and said, Oh my god, oh my god, eye opening, eye opening, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe this out of all my years in life. I can't you know, being sarcastic. Okay. So I said, Haha, awesome this. And uh she said that uh no, this is not awesome awesome this this is effing BS and all of that. And uh she she also stated uh she she also stated uh if I can find it. Give me a minute, y'all. We working with you. Yeah, you I'm, here just, just I'm, I'm riots, looking for it. Riot and sight, no riots. riots on, and this was on Instagram? This was on Instagram, and of course, I shared it with Facebook as well. Oh. I, I wanted my Facebook, my Facebook colleagues to uh, <laughs> see my activities. <laughs> what so, is mama? I'm calling your mama. She ain't no, she ain't no stranger. What she said? We both rebels. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 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 she was the only thing she told the only thing she said to me, you was bored, huh? I feel like y'all was a little bored. And I got tired of seeing all the gay people on gay pride with they little jack straps and Oh <laughs> my god, Lord. <laughs> and you it know, made me fall out. Mama, oh, Lord. Mama, my mom was like <laughs> my mom kinda old school with it sometimes. She was like, Now that's a now that's a dang shame. This whole world going to hell. Now this now she started going into it and Talking about yeah, that that's y'all, it. Y'all was rolling for like a couple hours. She was. I was just laughing at it. <laughs> it was hilarious to me. All it took was a, a gay dude and, and nothing but a jockstrap in the cake. Oh and no. She was like, that's what I've been seeing. Now, now your, you your, your mom is your mom is in Chicago. Yeah, right? she's in Chi Town. She's in Chi Town. Uh huh. Okay, so she's seeing all of all of the. No, she's not oh. seeing that. She she don't stay up north. She stays. They up. don't put it on TV. They, no, I don't think so. so. Sometimes they, you know, televise stuff or take pictures. They don't televise. That. No. They televise. They don't televise like you know how they televise the uh, Macy's Thanksgiving Day parade. Oh yeah. They televise that, but they don't televise the gay parade. Okay. So <laughs> they don't televise that. They just say when it's over, where is it going to be, how far is extended. They even extended it last year. Excuse me. So it's longer now. Interesting. Because of I guess because of more you population. You mean five days? It's no, 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 no. It's only one day. The, they actually extended the streets. Oh, so the, the parade gotcha, itself gotcha, will be gotcha. longer because I'm guessing because it's uh, more populated now. Oh, okay. You know, and the north side is where the pride, where the gay population primarily. The north side of Chicago is the openly gay population. Okay. Everywhere else, they kind of hide. I did hear about some shootings taking place, though, over the weekend in, in, in uh, Chicago. I don't, I don't know. It was like 29. Was it 29 shootings or 29 people? But one person was definitely uh, killed. I, I thought for sure. I meant to put that in my notes, my show notes for today. But I, I saw that um, wow. taking place. So I, I, I wondered. I'm seriously. I, I promise you. I was, I was wondering. I was like, I wonder. Was that um, during like the parade or something like that? Probably not. That's just a regular. Just on the, another side of town. Probably just a regular thing. I haven't heard enough about it yet. Really. I hear about it today. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, and believe it or not, if uh, if I was around them, they probably would have tried to shoot me. Especially this one lady. I oh, said, have mercy. <laughs> she said, uh, "No." After she made her little comments, I said, "Hi, you're awesome. That's great. Awesomeness, right?" Just being sarcastic, like I usually am. Yes. I wasn't trying to defame her or anything like that. You know, not defame her, but I wasn't trying to talk about her or anything like that. You know, okay. people are talking to their opinion, no matter how messed up it may be. Okay. So she stated. No, not Austin. Awesome. You're a disgusting homophobe, and you need to shut the blank up. Oh wow! So I now, is this somebody who is I, like never met before? Okay, so she's not following you. Nope. You're not following her. Nope. But you know my page is open, so I I can care less. Okay, I was just wondering how that connection was being right. made. Okay. So she uh so I kindly uh. <laughs> I kind of chimed into her and I said, "It's a mischievous laugh, you know what I mean?" It is, it is. I chimed into her and I stated, uh, "Aw, you're mad. How cute. If it upsets you that much, maybe you should look. Maybe you should not look at it. Maybe you should go in the corner, cry about it, and pray for my damned soul." LOL. It's avidly quite funny, funny to me that one, you call me a homophobe, in which, in actuality, in order to be homophobic, I would have to have an overwhelming fear of homos. But the actual existence and validity of the word itself could be questioned on so many levels. 
Number two, this is the same slogan that gays used. Uh, the only difference is two words that were either added or end or change. But yet, you're mad about the image. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, yes, you are. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all! I I, 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 guess, um, I I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Number three, I never did, did that stuff. Number yeah, number three, I never did bash any any gay people at all, which I could, but I never found it necessary. Like you obviously felt it necessary to bash me for whatever insecure reason that you may have to support your emotional or rational action. Maybe you're a maybe you're a heterophobe and you just don't realize it, or maybe you do realize it and am trying to cope with it. Whatever the case may be, good luck with that. All in all, if you don't like what I have to say and or post, then just simply stay the F off my page. My. Screw you, screw off, <laughs> and have a nice day. Didn't hear anything else back from her. I, uh, of course, that screw was changed. You know, I changed that for radio. But, uh, yes. Y'all yeah, get the so picture. Much, no problem. Y'all get the picture. Well... <laughs> and remember the thoughts and views of Antonio Wolf and or the comments that he made that he made so graciously praise the press. <laughs> he so made graciously put on his IG and Facebook page are not that of the of BNB Entertainment or the BDrossRadio.com. Changing changing gears. Did you see that that situation that took place in Detroit with the boy that was missing for eleven days? No, I did not. You didn't? I heard Man, something that was like all over the place. They, they, oh yeah, yeah. When uh, you talk about when uh, he found out, he found out that his son was found out. on the on the on the. Well, check it out. He, he, was, he, he had been passing out all kinds of stuff. His son was living with him and his um, his wife, which is the boy's stepmother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't know for, for the for those of you all that didn't get a chance to hear Nancy Grace at this point, tell him. Check this out. You ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. You know I'm ready. I'm on with it. Come on with it. Really? Come on with it. This, this, this is how it went down, and we're going to talk about it after. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Charlie. Uh, with me is his father, Charlie Bobble. Charlie, we're getting reports that your son has been found in your basement. Sir? Mr. Bothell, are you? Are you? What? Yeah, we are getting reports that your son has been found alive in your basement. What? Yes, that's the. You can you hand me that wire very quickly? Yeah, we're getting that right now. From from yeah, how how could your son be alive in your basement? Uh, I have I have no idea. Now this is just a report that we are hearing out of Detroit that we're trying to confirm. Uh, everybody in New York, please get on it. Uh, let me know when we get Charlie Langton from WWJ. Uh, sir, did you? Check your basement. I checked my basement. The FBI checked my basement. The Detroit police checked my basement. My wife checked my basement. Um, I've been down there several times. We've all been checking. How? Okay, uh, this, this is what we we are hearing that a, the missing twelve year old boy has been found alive and well in his father's basement. Now, this is what I, I don't understand why you guys would have reported he's missing, and all our viewers have been, been on the lookout that. for him. We've been, we've been on the lookout for him. We searched that entire house repeatedly. The FBI searched, Detroit police searched, we've all searched. Oh, God, they brought dogs, everything, everybody is searched. What? Oh, have you checked your cell phone? Um, my cell phone is dead. Um, I, I and I actually didn't down here. I left it in the car charger because it 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 my basement. My wife searched my basement. The FBI searched my basement. The Detroit police searched my basement. 
Um, we lost search my basement multiple times. Uh, I mean, we, yes, they had the dog search. I mean, we've all searched the basement. The dog searched my basement. Oh, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to give you a chance to call um, and see what you can find out. Charlie Langton, WWJ News. Uh, Charlie, we're getting reports tonight that the boy has been found alive in Daddy's basement. Yeah, yeah, we just we're just getting word right now, and we just basically confirmed that the boy has been found alive in the father's basement. And we're just getting reports right now that that is true. Uh, it, and literally, it's just it's just great moments, both moments ago. Now, why the boy? Why the father didn't know about that for the last eleven days? Uh, what if the child was afraid? If there was any other collusion among the family? What if the child? Ate? All of those are questions that we are trying to get reports on right now. We understand that there is some news crews right now to be seen. I also understand that the police chief is going to make yet another announcement that's to be coming up. Ah. Very interesting. So again, he's been missing, the, the son has been missing for 11 days. And I read reports that when they found him, he was in an obvious spot in the basement with cereal and a bucket um, and a makeshift kind of wall. Crazy, huh? Very. So we'll see how this situation unfolds because it's just uh, very interesting to me. Now, I will say this. There was a headline that stepmother has been arrested, but she wasn't arrested in relation to this. She was arrested because of, of a, a probation violation. Yeah. That just happened. That whole thing just seemed funny. It is something uh, that's a little, for one, I'm a father. And if my child is missing, and I just found news that he was found, I wouldn't be talking to no nasty grapes now. Look, I would be, I'd be taking my butt home. Look, my son found. Well, have a nice day. I'm going to get my son. They had a whole news crew out there in front of his house when he pulled up, coming from Nancy Grace. I wonder how did he pull up? Was he just pulling up all calm? Just no, he pulled up. I mean, no, he couldn't. I mean, there was a whole bunch of news cameras, all of that. Somebody get ran over. And some folks was like, they were like, why would you say? He said, man, I thought my son was dead. And he hugged some random dude. Well, to me, it looked like a random dude just crying. <laughs> um, I just was like, again, I was scratching my head. This he just is the second thing. situation with a, a father and a child. Yeah. That, that that we've seen in the news. Uh, we discussed it earlier at the beginning of the show with uh, you know the the ba the twenty two month old. You know, was left in the car. Left in the hot car. With both his mother and father had done searches on the internet about how long does it take for a child to die in a hot car? They both yes they did. Wow. They both did that search. Yep. You supposed to do searches like that at the library. You don't do searches like that at all. I mean, my yeah. bad. What? Don't judge me. All right, man. <laughs> Dang, that's just a lot of people listening. That's better not happen to your kids. I know that. Yeah, none of them have my kids. Right. Some have my kids. Yeah, be careful. I'm just saying. I'm letting you know that now. You got to be careful what you say. Let me hear something. You got to be careful. Man. We can go to the library. We in the media. I'm going to go to the library. You got to be careful. So, anyway, this, was, this situation right here. I'll take it seriously. This situation here is this. uh, it's like, how in the heck? Now, what everybody is, is waiting for with bated breath, and you know they are, is to question that boy. Mm -hmm. Question them. Because he ain't no little itty bitty. Mm -hmm. he good, how old is he? He good neighbor to talk. I think he's either 11, 12, we're not going to look that up. Same as Charlie. Yep. But they can't. They know they get a lot of question him without the, without they, the parents. Well, they're going to find out something. Mm. They're going to find out something. Wow. Because supposedly, if you look at it the way it's supposed to be, the, the stepmother and the father had no idea, so they should be sitting there too, like, where were you? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And he better come up with something. How did you get in the basement? Now, the only time that they would be concerned is that they had something to do, because that showed, that, that just threw a whole big cloud over this whole situation. That's crazy. And then yeah. the father didn't even seem, I don't know, he just didn't seem as, what's the word? Concerned, emotional, yeah, that. and I'm, 
You can see what that too. What? Uh, it, it, and look, when you watch it, when you watch the video, he sat there like, you know, looking like, what? So he had to look like, how did they find him? I don't. I can't say that. Okay. But I. But it just wasn't. A, it wasn't a reaction that I expected. Wow. Just saying. All right. So we got some more stuff coming up. Keep it locked right here on the Bianca Burwell Show. Apparently, it is a uh, family reunion right now. So we'll be back. <laughs> Keep it locked. <laughs>
Tuned in to the Be Just Radio, the Bianca Bobo Show. I'm still trying to uh, recover from the last segment. Ah. What's that weird? Gus, there was a lot of uh, parts in the last segment that uh, you could have recovered, you could be trying to recover from. No, no, no. I'm just thinking about the ones that was most exciting to me. <laughs> oh my God, really? Either that or the crunching. Dude, <laughs> trying to understand. Is that phobia? No. Crunching peppermints? No, I don't have any phobia. It was a what in the what moment. <laughs> Seriously? Check this out. There's a man in North Carolina that's happened. Let me show you a man. No, I'm good positive. That's a guy. Right. That he's on the back of a car while it's riding down the highway. Okay? Riding down the highway. Look at that. And. Apparently, some people saw it, of course, and they were like, what in the what? So this lady, she's driving down the highway. She pulls out her cell phone. She begins filming this whole situation as it's happening. All right? The family said they witnessed the man shattering the rear windshield. There was a witness that said that um, every time he lifted up his hand, came and looked like he had something sharp in it. Right? Mm -hmm. So they're driving. Now, I'm trying to understand. If I'm driving down the highway and there's a fool on the back of my vehicle, I'm not going to keep driving straight at 50. I'm a floor and be zigzagging. You coming off? <laughs> I'm, would you? <laughs> you know I would. I know you would. <laughs> but they said whenever he lifted up his hand, it looked like he had something sharp. Uh huh. And they were concerned what might happen, but he was able to get in the <laughs> vehicle. That's something. After he broke the windshield, I think he. That's a like mass action hero, right? What stuff right there. That's um. Wish I was in the Matrix, but I can't fly type stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> Where my leather suit at? Well, you know they had leather suits. Well, they said that they know each other. Whoever, the person that was driving and the fool that was on the back. I'm sure they did. If he's trying to get into the car. <laughs> but, but, but I'm just saying, though. We know each other. Why are you on the back? And you broke my windshield. Really? We on the news now, fool. <laughs> we on so, the news. So what happened after you got in? That is a, this is still something that's... Um, they just went cruising? <laughs> Wow. It's still, this is still unfolding because this was posted um, just before the show. I kid you not. Just broke the window, got in, sat in the back seat, just chill. Just turned before up the, the music. show, that's what, that's what they were talking about. It's crazy. I was like, I've got to talk about this. Wow. So, yeah. Other, other crazy stuff that took place is, um, you know, the BET Awards, hosted by Chris Rock. Uh huh. Much better than Chris Tucker. I didn't get a chance to say ah. that, but Chris Tucker was a bomb. I don't know who hired him for that. He has. I think he's been away too long yeah. to have been able to reacclimate himself in the in the entertainment. Yeah, it was terrible. I was like, okay, Chris, Chris, Tucker, when are you gonna do something? But but they had Chris Rock this time, and um, yeah, they just kept <laughs> down. I'm, I'm no dude had to feel like he was bombing. I don't think Chris Tucker is uh, very good when it comes to hosting where he can't curse. I'm just saying. I mean, he's done other stuff in the past. I think it's just been too long. How far in the past? That's what I'm saying. It's been too long. It's been way, way too long for that show. I don't know. But at any rate, there was a lot of hits and misses. We're going to talk about that. But the first thing is, is that there was a shooting that took place in one of the pre-show, uh, pre-party 
BET award show thing. I guess how you say it. Just before the BET awards. But it wasn't connected. But it took place. It was close to Hollywood. And like four people, four or five people got shot, one person died. So right around Compton. I don't know if it was no well, I don't know if it was right around Compton. I was looking at the the map. No, it wasn't by Compton. It wasn't. Oh, okay. Um, but it was at Vermont and Hollywood, I think they said. Vermont Avenue in Hollywood, something like that. But um, I was like, man, seriously? Why don't you all just fight? And they said the game was in there, but he didn't have, he didn't have anything to do with that situation. He didn't know what was going on. No, that's, that's what they said. <laughs> that was good. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, he's of course, like, they're going to immediately, I don't see why he want to put himself in harm's way. He's got two kids. He's, he's probably like, hey, hey, go ahead and handle that over there. But you know what? I'm going to bounce out, so I'm going to be involved I'm in this. Even, but you know what to do. I'm not. Right? I'm not. I'm the game. Content. I'm no, out. That dude is not. <laughs> he ain't like that. He, he's, he's a father. He's a father. father. Yeah, he is. He's a father. We appreciate him right for tuning in. You can take the game out the game, but you can't take the game out the game. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> but there was some serious <laughs> before we get to the phobias and business startup no no. Come on with it. You know. But the first thing is, Lionel Richie. Not Lionel. Is it me you're looking for? What? Yes. I want them to Twice. at least spell, spell his name right. Three times misspelling. Yeah, they, they misspelled his name. His name is Richie, R I C H I E, but they spelled it R I T C H E I E. So that prompted a whole bunch of misspellings <laughs> and Twitter stuff. You know, people did it on purpose. They was like, okay. Um. A hit. They said Chris Brown's performance actually was really good. <clears throat> he uh, performed this song "Loyal" with uh, Lil Wayne and Tigger. Okay. So, so that went pretty good. Miss was Beyonce and Jay Z's so-called live performance. Uh, they were saying that there was going to be a live performance with Beyonce and Jay Z, but when they got to it, it was really just a pre-recording of their tour in Cincinnati. Jacked up. Uh, uh, they said so many people. Billboard tweeted, "People are." Leaving the awards show in droves right now during Jay Z and, and, and Beyonce's clip. Wow. They was mad. They're like, what? The, they ain't here. They said the VHS, <laughs> FedEx. I was like, yeah. They did an MP3. I mean, an MP4. <laughs> That's what they did. Right. They sent it. Crazy. I don't know what they were thinking about. All right. Um, hit. Chris Rock's opening monologue, apparently. He was killing them when he came out. Rock folk fun at everyone that performed. He still got it. Chris Brown. He said the singer, quote, just signed a new deal. Too bad it's a plea deal. <laughs> uh, to celebs in the audience, and even got got uh, topical with controversy over racial uh, remarks by L.A. Clippers owner Donald Sterling. <laughs> what exactly did he say? Rock asked. What exactly did Donald Sterling say? I don't want my wound around black basketball players. Me neither. Neither do I. A mess was Nicki Minaj. Jeez. So Nicki Minaj, apparently she had an acceptance speech, right? Uh -huh. And I saw a little bit of that, and I was like, interesting. So the rapper and, and former American Idol judge, she won Best Female Hip Hop Artist Award and gave a speech to the men scratching their heads like, what the fuck? So what Nicki Minaj said was... She was talking about... Go ahead. What? She, she was... Is, from what I heard, it was a pun that uh, Izzy is a uh, What? English. Iggy, Iggy is a gazelle. 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 <laughs> Whatever her name is, I'm okay. too old to be listening to her. But I know that I know that she made a hidden pun at her. But go ahead and tell me what, what she said. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> she said something about it. Here. I don't give myself as a female rapper because I know what I do. She went on to offer that when you hear Nicki Minaj spit, Nicki Minaj wrote it. You gotta spit put it in a Nicki Minaj voice. Do a no, Nicki Minaj voice. No, no. When you hear one. Nicki Minaj spit, <laughs> Nicki Minaj wrote it. Uh, which some took to be a diss directed at new rapper Iggy Azalea. Like, they just took it as that. Mm -hmm. She could be talking about a whole bunch of us. It's a whole bunch of people that don't write their stuff. Word, but ain't nobody up as, is like up there or getting a lot of pub now. Well, so she I got guess. a lot of publicity when she first came out. And she, her and Lil' Kim got in the beef, but, you know, I ain't saying the name of my business. Like, yeah. So then she, she talked about her near brush of death. Yeah, brush yeah, she said she just wanted to say that the other day, literally, I didn't tell anyone this. I really thought I was about to die. Like, I was saying my prayer to die, and I didn't even want to call an ambulance because I thought, well, if I call an ambulance, it's going to be on TMZ. 
<laughs> I would just rather sit here and die. And it made me realize, I don't care anymore what anybody else has got to say. What is she? How is she about to die? I don't know. But that's what she said. She she had a, a brush with death, and she wanted to share that. But she didn't share it. She was sharing the experience of her surrounding life. She would rather die rather than make a phone call to the ambulance for help because she didn't want to be on TMZ. Huh. Really? Okay. That's seriously what your thoughts are? So you just rather... Maybe that was one of those reality checks. Yeah. It was one of those reality checks that, you know what, maybe I might... Be a little too of, far up there. I might want to consider... Getting my head out the cloud. What I just said. I don't want to... That's crazy. So what about her performance? That was that was what the miss was or just her acceptance no, speech? No, no, the miss was her acceptance speech. It left people, oh, okay. you know, questioning what in the what is Nicki Minaj talking about? We don't know. Kind of said that a lot with Nicki Minaj, though, so, but I don't know. You think so? Me? Yeah. Why? Is she weird to you? Um, yeah, in a sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would say so, yeah. In a sense. In a sense? In a sense, yeah. She's a little weird. Yeah. I mean, I consider myself a little weird, but she's kind of uh, a little special. Yeah, huh? I can understand that. Yeah. Like at the back of the short bus special type of thing. You say back of the short bus. That's right. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are things that I guess she's gonna have to come to terms for herself. So good luck. <laughs> good luck with all that, and uh, maybe she can talk to folks about that because she's got issues. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I asked people. What you ask? I asked people about uh, their phobias. What is it? And I've gotten some interesting responses that I want. I do want to share. Come on with. Because what I was saying was, I asked. I asked. You know, what are your? Do you have any interesting fears or superstitions? You know, like I don't want to drive under a bridge when the train is on it. That used to be mine. Oh, before before we continue. I must say, just in case you guys have any interesting phobias or any fears, comments, or questions, please do chime in. You can call us, let us know, 404-826-9223, and uh, call in and let us know. The Q&A box is up, and you can watch us live. Continue. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. All right. Or, you know, I just want to know, what's your, I can't do that? I want to know. What's your, I can't do that? Mine? No, I you oh, told you. Yeah. So that's what I put out there. I got old mine. So Star Golden, she said, it's funny that I mentioned that. Huh. She's hesitant under all bridges. Really? Yeah, she's hesitant under all bridges of a just randomly collapsing. That's not really a phobia though. That's that's a fear. It's a fear, but a phobia is an overwhelming. Because I, I said fear and phobia superstitions on that. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, that whole I, I can't that. do that. Okay. Yeah. That so okay. yeah, because she was saying she no bridges. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, my cousin Kim had to chime in, <laughs> and what she said was, she didn't think she had normal fears, not really superstitions, but she can't be higher than higher up that she can jump without breaking a bone. If she too high, where she if she jumps, she gonna break a bone. Mm -mm. Can't do that. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Give me out this swing! I'm not ready. Silly. <laughs> she can't stand being in tight places either. If it's too many people in the elevator, she was like. Mm -mm. Can't do that. Ah, ah. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> Get you out the closet. <laughs> oh, man. And then Veronica chimed in saying that she has a fear of cats, but she hasn't expounded on why she has a fear of cats. Because cats are evil. Why are you saying cats are evil? I don't like cats. Really? Yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's hard. What? No, she was that an exhale? No, I was laughing at <laughs> I was laughing at the intern because he was mopping something to me. All right. <laughs> so then we have somebody else, uh, Ronit, out of Savannah. And what she chimed in and said was, her fear is to die underwater or a house fire. I'd rather go by a gunshot. Make huh? it quick and easy. That's my fear is to, is to have a, a long time, like a long dying process. Oh, my that. fear is to suffer. Is to suffering. Suffer. Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm like, why would you, okay. why would you scared to die anyway? Just, there you go. She said, who, who would want to know that they're dying and have to wait on it? I would. Hospice is, is purgatory, that's she said. Hospice is purgatory. I said, okay. Whatever, I speak English, man. What do you mean? What? Hospice. You never heard of hospice? Hospitals. 
hospice. Hos, hostels? Hospice is, is the I'm place that you... I'm from America, okay? I do not speak this buffoonery that you are talking. No. I plead the you fifth. You know you sound crazy right now, right? I plead the fifth. Okay, it's best to just say, you know what, what is that? Plead the fifth. Hospice, if you are like him and never ever heard of it, that is the place that, that people who have accepted that they are dying... And it's apart from the hospital, they move you over there and basically just give you a lot of morphine and try to make you comfortable before you transition. Morphine doesn't. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yes, it does. I've seen it twice. What? With, I, I've had friends and I went to hospice um, all the way up until they passed away. No, I'm not talking about that. I was on a whole other subject. I was on a whole other subject. Yeah, morphine. They have, it, uh, they have it on some people that was coming back from my, my rank. I've seen that before a couple of times. Uh, kind of sad, actually. Because it's people, the post the PTSD actually affects them so bad they just really just give up, and really? they yeah I'm being serious, and uh, they actually put them on morphine so they wouldn't kill themselves. They just put them in a room and just accept man life. It was crazy. We have a movie producer Bobby Peoples. Bobby. He said that his thing where he can't do it, he don't he don't eat cook, uh, food that's cooked outside. I said, so, you know, barbecue? barbecue? Right. He said, barbecue's at my house? Uh-uh. My wife cooks my food inside, and then I'll eat it. <laughs> that's what he said. Why, though? What? He don't like food that's cooking outside. Also, he said, um, he don't eat birthday cake neither. What? I said, you don't eat birthday cake? He said, no, it's something about people blowing on a cake. That's just nasty. Ah, uh, he a German <laughs> <fool. laughs> <sighs> He said, so, so I, I don't eat my kids' birthday cake. I said, the kids too? Lord of mercy, that's your cheering. Not the babies. Not the babies. He said, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> well, give me your slide then, Bobby. He said, he is not doing it. He ain't caring. Hey, you know what? That'd saying. be fun, though. Like, being at his house, all you got to do is, like, cough on something. And you just, oh, my God, really? Why would you, you just have it? <laughs> Why would you want to cough on something? That's because have you ever been, like, a kid and, like, I mean, you got brothers, so you know. You have been like a kid, and, and you know, and uh, your brother be trying to steal your food and stuff. You'll cough on it and sneeze oh, no, on no, it. No, no, what I do, I would put my finger in it. When I was little, I would put my finger in it. Like, you want this? You would probably do that with Bobby, too. <laughs> you probably do that with Bobby. crack it up. They would be like, never mind. That wasn't even right. I don't need money. I don't know. No. I used to do that. I did that with my oldest brother. I used to do that with my other cousins. Now, I stuff. can't say, did I do that? My brother Rodney, I don't think I never had an issue with him. Trying to like eat my food. It was always my oldest brother. <laughs> it was. It was like. Who's that, Bobby, right? Yeah. It was <laughs> ridiculous. Yeah, I used to do it with my cousins. Yeah, like, like my cousin Ricky have a sandwich or something. I'd be like, Phew. oh, excuse me. Uh, you gonna eat that? Oh, uh, nasty. <laughs> <'Cause I'm butt -wicked. laughs> kind of funny. Uh oh, my God. <laughs> now, Dave Talbot chimed in too. Uh oh. Dave Talbot, I must say, congratulations, man. You made it to number four on the billboards. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Dave um, Talbot. Dave Talbot, man. So he said, driving on bridges. He ain't with it. Driving on bridges? Driving on bridges. I'm not trying to do it. I'm like, Dave, we, we from Ohio. You got to cross bridges, a number of them, from Atlanta to Cleveland. So you drove over a bridge when you, when you drove me off. He don't like it. He don't like it. He did look kind of teary. Oh, man. Uh, all right. <laughs> Tell him you said that. <laughs> That was interesting. Oh, love war. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what uh, that's what you guys chimed in on. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Since I got a, a few things, um, I could give the the yeah, I'll give the phobias when we come back, okay? And then uh, we'll round it out with the business startup mistakes that you want to avoid. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. Keep it locked right here on the Bianca Robles show. And give me nuts. Keep it locked right here.
Hey, how you doing? I don't. What is that? Rathalingam? Rathalingam? I think that's your name. Hey, what's going on? Appreciate you. Hey, how's it going? I'm about to go through the phobias right now. Alright. Ready? <clears throat> that's Usher. Good kisser. Well, alright. <laughs> alright, we'll check it out. I've been leading up to this. The top phobias in America. Come on with it. Ready? Homophobic. And then that's it. <laughs> and then um, we'll get into the, the business startup mistakes to avoid. So I'm going to try to get this all in here. If not, then we're just going to break real quick and then come right back with those. All right. Come on with it. All right. So phobias, top phobias. Come on with it. Do we do it? What? Don't be like rushing me. I'm trying to do it. Just come on. Or do it. Fear of heights. Okay. Fear of heights. Mm -hmm. Sometimes confused with vertigo. Vertigo is a physical condition. You also name it. It causes dizziness and disorientation. That's not it. It's mm. like when you are looking down from like a ridiculous height and it's like, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. All right. When is that more of a fear of heights or a fear of falling? Isn't it the same thing? Not necessarily. No, absolutely not. According to this, there's always someone fear of heights. <clears throat> looking down on this real. Or, you know, sometimes I can look on, on a um, TV show or whatever, and they show me like, whoop, that's your long way down. Yeah. <laughs> I just like, down. Oh my god. All right, so the next one is fear of enclosed spaces, better known as claustrophobia. Yeah. Yep. Many hmm. sufferers find that claustrophobia is specifically triggered by certain common situations, such as entering an elevator or riding in an airplane. Hmm. I wonder the people who know that they have cost a before they get a plane ticket. I don't know. That would be crazy to actually discover that. Like, <gasps> what do they do? Like, I don't wait, know. But wait, how can you? I don't know, because wouldn't, wouldn't you kind of figure that out if you ran in a car or something? Because you're in an enclosed space. Well, I guess cars, I guess they don't let you run out of windows. You know, you can come in and out. But a plane, but I mean, you can't you come in and out whenever you want to. What do you have a walk-in closet? They wouldn't go in it. They just hang your stuff. But you got to get in and hang your stuff. You just walk in the closet. Oh, yeah. What if you're in the bathroom? I mean, you got to close the door in the bathroom. So you, you can't uh, use the bathroom? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, there you go. Some people uh, discover undiagnosed claustrophobia when they undergo an MRI. Because hmm. the MRI, you're going inside, and you can't move. All right. It's real tight. It's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, nitrophobia, fear of the dark. Hmm. Yep. That's of course the fear is it's common in general generally with uh, children, but if it persists longer than six months and causes extreme anxiety, that's that's for me. Yeah, you have a problem with that kid. No one is fear of snakes. Can't yeah. pronounce it, so I'll just say fear of snakes. Try to pronounce it. Nope. Try to pronounce it. So on, if other reptiles are also feared, okay. then the more general phobia is fear of reptiles. So now, so people that, that are scared of, of snakes or have a fear of snakes, they also show fear when you show them pictures and even when you talk about it. Hmm. They're like, I'm done. I, I'm cool. I'm trying to pronounce it. The next one is arachnophobia, fear of spiders. Hair. And do you see that humongous spider on the promo? Mm -hmm. I cannot believe what I saw. That is on a, that man's back. That was nothing compared to what I saw. Dude! You ever seen the camel spider? I'm looking at that one right there that is almost huh. a quarter of his back. And he he was bent over. Of course, I pulled him out of the, the picture, but yeah. he was bent over. Like, that's his He's pet. Just chilling. That's his pet. But, what kind of crap is that? Yo, this is my homie Bobo right here. <laughs> I'm cool. <laughs> All right. Um, fear of injection or medical needles. I don't like needles. Hmm. I don't like needles. I was like, I told my mom when I was young, you ain't never got worried about me being a drug addict. Yeah, I, I can't do I don't like needles, Joseph. Just do, Does that not try require to catch it? Try to catch it. Try to catch it. I don't have, no. <laughs> Astrophobia, fear of thunder and lightning. <laughs> and you know what? I actually saw somebody. When it was thunder and lightning, it was, I mean, it was a guy. He was <gasps> covering his, I was like, am I seeing this grown I don't, freaking man? <laughs> Big groan. <laughs> looking like, so oh, big fool looking like really? John Coffin. That was crazy <laughs> stuff, man. I was like, uh, like the huh. That's funny. You know what? My grandmother, I don't know if she had this actual phobia, but, you know, when the lightning storms, of course, she was older. 
when the lightning storms came or the thunder storms came, she would turn off everything in the house. Everything in the house, and we would just have to be sitting there quiet, can't turn on no power. Oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. Old Next school. one is nosophobia, fear of having a disease. Nosophobia? Yeah, what did I say? Okay. Yep. Germophobia, fear of germs. All right. Yep, we talked about that one. Uh -huh. And this one, fear of the number 13. <laughs> fear of the number 13, that's crazy. How? For example, it is rare to see the 13th floor of a hotel or office building. Many people refuse to live in homes with a 13 in the address. Even public transportation is affected with airplanes skipping over the 13th floor. Does that make it not the 13th floor just because you don't say? So it'll go 12 or 14. Because people don't really count it, but I guess seeing it would probably be like, oh my god, I can't do this. Jason is going to hit me. He's going to attack me. <laughs> Did you say, oh my god. Yeah, oh Jason, my God! Jason is gonna, oh, it's gonna slice me with his machete, oh my with his hockey mask, and bite me. So um, those are those are the top phobias. No. We'll be right right back. I got one quick thing, and then we're gonna uh, come back with the business startup mistakes to avoid. Like right here, Iggy, killing we'll me. Back. Okay, so this one is uh, Fancy. Iggy. Yeah, when she gets on somebody's nerves. Nikki's. Yeah. Iggy gets on Nikki's nerves. All right. Business startup mistakes that you need to avoid. Business startup mistakes to avoid. Very important. First thing is not doing a business plan. You have to do something. You have to write out what your idea is. Okay, when you write out a business plan to test the feasibility of your business idea to give your new business the best possible chance of success. The next thing is not doing any market research. That's the craziest crap I've ever heard in my life. You have to see what in the heck is going on in 
your market and do thorough market research. The next thing is ignoring competition. Ignoring competition doesn't make them go away. And please stop saying there is no competition because there is. Always. People always have an opportunity or, or uh, an option to go with somebody else. So ignore the competition. You know, that could be fatal to your new business. All right? So what you want to do with your competition is you want to pay attention to their advertisements that they have. You want to visit the establishment as regular as you possibly can. Ask your business colleagues if they know about this business or that business. They may be able to tell you. Also, become a customer of that particular business. And sign up if they have some type of loyalty program because they send out notifications as to what their um, sales are, their promotions, things of that nature. And you want to be aware of it because you want to make sure that you can come here. Just saying. Also, another thing that you want to look at is, and you need to understand market saturation. All right, so the pie is only so big. There's only so many that can survive doing a specific thing. So if in your market is saturated with the same thing that you're doing, you may want to either not do that there and go somewhere else, or just if you're going to stay there, find something else. There. It's crazy. It's all about time. You, you was waiting for that one. Yes. Not taking into account your own strengths and weaknesses. You got to know what you can do well and what you don't do well. What you don't do well, you need to outsource somebody else. Hmm. Just saying. You did service. <laughs> Not understanding what you're actually selling. People need to know, you need to know what it is that you're doing. How are you going to go in business and not know what you're selling? There's some folks that go through that, I promise you. You're like, do you know what you do? <laughs> well, yeah, I want to see it get this nice, good stuff. The same. Buy it. Not making sure you have enough money. 95% of businesses will not make money when they first open, and a large portion of new businesses will not make significant money for years. So you need to know that. Some folks don't understand that. If you have a gig or um, something that, that is um, fueling what it is that you do, that's important to hold on to it. You don't want to like, forsake. Of course, you want, to, you want to wake up whenever you want to wake up, do whatever it is that you want to do, but you have to have something that's fueling that dream. Okay? Another one is not investing in marketing. That is the craziest crap I've ever seen in my life. You are going to have to market at the moment. Otherwise, people won't know who the heck you are. Don't have that build it and they will come mentality because that, that don't work. People will be like, come where, why, who is it, what's the purpose? So you will have built it and no one will be there. You're going to lose all your money. All right? Educate, educate, educate. Far too many businesses uh, are reluctant to spend money on marketing. So you have to have a different attitude about it and spend the money for marketing that is necessary in order for you to be successful. Uh, another one is not bothering with any online marketing. Are you kidding me? You must market online. You must have a website. That's the first thing that people do is they check online to make sure that your business is valid. They go online and say, see if I can see anything about it. Do they have any uh, negative marks? Do they have anything uh, positive? Are there any type of testimonials? That's what people do. They look online to see what's going on. It just ain't such an answer. Trying to do everything yourself. You can't. Please learn that. You cannot do everything yourself. All right? So you want to make sure that you develop a team. And don't be so quick to put people around you, too. And also understand that people come to go. Not everybody is a good fit. It may not be a good fit for them, and it may not be a good fit for you. So don't try to force a situation that is not there. Word. All right. So those are your uh, business startup mistakes to avoid right here on the Bianca Burwell Show. If you haven't done it already, please like us on Facebook. And you go to the BJoshRadio.com. You look for the big F that's on there. And we ain't talking about the thing. It'll take you directly to our Facebook page. And you see everything that's going on. Click like and share that with everyone else in your group, friend list, whatever. It doesn't matter. All but right. share it. Also, uh, follow us on Twitter at Beat Drops Radio. Beat Drops Radio on Twitter. And my Instagram handle is Bianca underscore Burwell. So we appreciate everybody for tuning in. Make sure you tune in on tomorrow, which is Tuesday. Antonio! Catch me on Facebook, Antonio Wolf. Catch me on uh, IG at Love True Production. Yeah. I think that was good information. Oh, yeah, it is. What, did did you get feeling, something out of that? Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, cool. I'm just want to make I'm sure. surprised they have like the fear of zombies on there. Well, I'm pretty sure it's like on another list, but those are like the top ones. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, that's yeah, crazy though. Yeah, apparently people got all kinds of fears and stuff. I know, right? You know, fear of clowns. Yeah, I know. My homeboy back at home, he he's out of fear. You don't have no fear of clowns. No, How you can you help fear yourself? Really? Sorry. <laughs>
Get them. <laughs> Get them. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we appreciate everybody for tuning in. Again, we'll be back on tomorrow. For all of you indie artists that have been asking how can you get your music on, all you have to do is go to the website, thebjossradio.com, and you'll see Submit Your Music. Right at the top, it is in yellow. Oh, nothing else is in yellow but that. <laughs> you submit your music directly on the website. You can upload it after you pay the, the you know, submission fee. We do because we work. Yeah. So make sure you submit that, and we might feature you on New Music Monday. You can let all the fans know that you are in rotation. You get credited spins right here on the B Joss Radio. Man, this was cool. Word. All right, so we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Keep it locked. Let's see. We got some new shows that's going to be starting soon, too. Fully. Full Belly Radio is going to be starting. Um, oh, Belly. Full Belly Radio. Is it a cooking, radio? Is it cooking yeah. show? No, I'll do it. Oh. All right. Oh. Have a good one. Oh. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay.